everyone, just for here for now. I'm going back to a new Phineas for Fur episode review. And if you need to watch one, go and check it out. And this is another good episode. And it starts with <sighs> Phineas and Ferb's dad bringing out this treehouse. Or not treehouse. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> Birdhouse out that he made. And it's really cool, too. I really like how it looks. And... Phineas and Ferb see this so where they discovered a UFO, which a lot of people are believing UFOs. I mean, I don't even believe in aliens and UFOs, and I believe that's just fictional stuff. Like, I don't, I don't believe in those stuff that they even exist. But yeah, they see this so, and yeah, we see F Perry fighting Doofenshmirtz, and actually talks about his Messiah, which just talks about love. Ruining, like, love lives. And, yeah, we see the flashback where he was dating Phineas and Ferb and Candace's mom at the time. <laughs> and their younger days. And went to this drive-in movie. And he tried to use this device. And, yeah, it ends up making the screen go and That's playing the movie in the air. And, yeah, the device starts to fall, and Candace tries to get her mom to get out here, and she actually sees the device, but, of course, Phineas and Ferb did not make it. And, of course, their, their mom is telling them not to touch anything of the... to not touch it, because they don't know what it could do. And we see their dad doing this presentation and keeps getting calls about the device saying that he built it but they didn't but they he does not know that they're talking about this robot that is in their yard he thinks that linda is talking about um when she calls their the dad their dad he says that he built it, but she doesn't. She doesn't describe that about the robot. He believes it was the the birdhouse. He was. He's talking about the birdhouse. <laughs> and yeah, per, Perry and Doofenshmirtz keep getting trapped and end up getting caught on this mountain. And yeah, Perry ends up in another trap. And Phineas and Ferb made this replica of this device that wondering of what it could do and we get a song as well which is pretty funny and good and once again the dad is doing his pre presentation and keeps getting interrupted and yeah Candace actually tries to tell her tell her mom that this is how she's failing, cause the mo their mom is like, why does their dad not believe her? And it's like, huh, huh, like Candace, just like with Candace, how their mom doesn't believe Candace when it comes to the inventions. Say, say, their mom is feeling what Candace always feels every time with Phineas and Ferb's inventions, and. <laughs> Yeah, they just keep getting into traps, though. And the robot takes the candle, which, yeah, Phineas then realized something. And, yeah, they're still looking at the robot. And, of course, they're not going to call their dad, which, yeah, he, they decide to go and get him themselves. And Perry sets off all the traps and escapes. And, yeah, it ends up... The thing, the staff thing that Perry used hits the red button and it ends up flying. And Perry defeats Doofenshmirtz. And, yeah, while it's flying, it says the other robot, the replica. And apparently it's a female, which they go out flying together. And <laughs> Linda tells the dad if that doesn't look creepy. And he's like, I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Just looking at Candace dancing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this this one makes her, the mom look crazy. And everybody is wondering about the whole romantic 
reasoning of the robot. But yeah, a really good episode. Like to know what y'all think. Catch you next one.